Hi, ladies. Welcome. Zam, you guys are here quickly, quickly, quickly. Guess what I got today? So today we're going to try to do classy little nails. I got a new light, bitch. Well, it's not new. It's the one that I use at the salon. How are you guys doing today? I've been stalking. <laughs> okay. So let me show you guys the nails that I'm going to try to recreate. I did them already once before. But I want to see if my nail art and Frenchies have gotten any better. I did these last year. And we got the the design from Nailtique on Instagram. So I kind of want to convince my clients to try this again. Hi, Portia. Hi, Carla. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, my right nut. So the color that I'm going to be using as a base is going to be my Cover Salmon. Um, Hold on. I don't know why I'm so fucking zoomed in, but I guess that's that's fine. I'm excited. Hi, Cheesy Mac. Hold on. All right, so let me. Hi, Martha. How are you? I'm going to use this color on all the nails. Oh, I'm going to try to go. I'm, I'm trying to go big, 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 big. Big brush today. How are you guys doing? Oh, you know, we're not going to start with some glitter on the nail. Um, This is a new hand. I don't know the name of it, though. When I bought it, I bought it on the quickness because um, I wanted to buy a, a full set of hands so that I could have two. And um, the one that I already had is was sold out. So I just got whatever they had. I just got whatever they had. I want to say her name is Inessa, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. My favorite um, skin tone that I have so far from them is is um, Nicole. That one I feel is is um, my favorite. I feel like this one is a little a little too pale for me. <laughs> like, ma'am, we need a little color on you, but I guess it's okay. It's okay to have different different little color hand colors so that um every color shows different on it. Hi guys, welcome. So today we're gonna do a little bit of nail art. You gotta put her in the soul, man fucking hand will not get a uh, color use cozule oh yes if you guys are going to um how to call it purchase from ready guana make sure to use code zule for um 10 percent off what happened to the march box what, what you say hi guys welcome so we're just gonna do a a little simple nail ish well, it's not that simple. I have a feeling that my two fucking clients tomorrow are going to ask for a damn French. So I need to start practicing. Honey, because girl, everybody's going to be asking for Frenchies. Like, honey. Oh, you were doing your nails, Jimena? So I whipped out my big brush today so that I can do these a little bit faster. I'm going to try to give myself a... Um, goal. I need a hand. You should get one with Red Iguana. I'm not sure if they still have refurbished hands, but check it out. They did have refurbished hands. Um, you cover salmon, cover salmon for base color. Yes, this is a cover salmon acrylic. Oh, so beautiful, beautiful. And my man wanted me to wait on my box. Imagine I wouldn't have gotten shit. Oh, because it's sold out. That's what they were asking? Yeah, I was like, okay, honey, honey. I got an email from one of my lovely followers. And she was like, hopefully on May 10th, there's still boxes. I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, there's no more. There's no more, honey. 
de she. I don't know. They just said your boxes and that's it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my God, did I get my box? I don't know, Bere. I mean, Nene, did you? Right now, I'm using a size 24. So I'm trying to finish a little bit faster. Maybe a troll. I can tell you. I'm trying to... Um, beat my time because y'all already know that my Frenchies and my little nail are be taking ages So I'm trying to get faster on my base acrylic Did you send out the boxes already? Yes. Yes, we did all all the May boxes were shipped out today. I think If if you guys haven't gotten a uh, uh, Como se dice? Uh, email confirmation, like you, como se dice? you didn't get an email saying that your order was shipped, then probably it'll be shipping tomorrow. But I tried my best to print them all today. Hola, amigas, como están? Bienvenidas al club, el club, el club de las chingones. Valgo vera with my pedicure, but wish me luck. Okay, good luck, amiga. No digas eso. All right. So this here is my one nail. Nombre pinche. Fucking nail. Me salió en tic tic. You have boxes. Um, yes. So every first of the month, we are going to be releasing a monthly box. Um, each box varies. Um, Unless we have like scoops or whatever every time every few months, then we won't have a box. But for the most part, we will have a, a monthly box all the time. So I'm not sure if yeah, I think I need a little bit more on this nail. Since it's kind of long, I need a little bit more up here. What hand do you recommend, Zule? I personally prefer the posable. If you guys are gonna get a red iguana hand, I recommend to use the posable hand. Um, any color you want. But for me, the reason why, um, the the reason why, how to call it, um, I say the posable hand is my favorite, is because I like to move the fingers out the way when I'm working. And the other one, the non-posable, the fingers don't bend. Well, they do bend, but they don't stay. So they're going to be getting in your way. And uh, I don't like that. I have both. And I don't really care. If I think that's why I don't really use Maria so much. Because her fingers don't stay bent. Hold on, there's a fucking lint. So, yeah. Okay. Aplicaste en su uña natural. Es um, las uñas que vienen con la mano, amiga. So these nails, I'm just going to shove one out real quick. These come with the hand. It's, well, you have to buy them. So la, la que vende las uñas, I mean las manos, vende estas uñas. Y cada, de, cada uña dice para qué dedo es. Como esta tiene la M, es para el middle finger. This color is so fucking beautiful. Hello, guys. Welcome. Send me Maria. I know. Todavía me gusta la Maria, pero me cae gorda sometimes. No voy a regalar mis manos on mine. I'm officially a fake hand um, collector. I have a bunch of fake hands. I love all my fake hands. So if you guys ever come to my house, hey, just kidding. I think one of these days when my, my nail room is in order, you know, when Zule organizes it, she has issues with hands and the lazy. Um, when I organize my room and shit, I'm going to show you guys a little tour with my little fake hands. And people are going to be like, this bitch, does she butcher people over there? Or what the hell? What the hell? I don't even know how many fake hands I got. They hiding. I have fake hands and I got fake fingers. 
Hi, Jensta. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. So depending on how thick you apply your color is how the shade will look. If you guys want. And this applies to any nude color. Um, If you guys want like more of a lighter color, look, you guys can tell here. I, I applied it a lot thinner on this finger because that's the first bead. And then as we thicken it up, it gets more like peachy. So if you guys ever want a, a lighter color, just apply it thinner. I was kind of looking for like a see-through pink, but I didn't want it too pink. So I'm like, eh. let's do cover salmon. What's new, Zulay? Nothing, honey. Nothing is new. I don't have nothing new. I have to work tomorrow. Nothing new. Nothing new. But today is trash day. And Patrick needs to throw out the trashes. So I was like. And he needs to finish his homework. So I was like you know what. Let me do a little live meanwhile. And then we can like watch a movie or something. Or watch a little TV. So that's why I try to pick something. That's kind of simple. But. Not too simple. But something cute you know. With a little bit of nail art. Hi, Zule. Hi, Millie. A Millie, a Millie, a Millie. No, hombre, hoy me dio chorro dos veces, amigas. Do you like the half hand or the full hand? To be honest, if you have a stand, it doesn't matter if you have the half or the full. If you have the little stand that you can buy from Red Iguana, either one is fine. I would even say go for the half hand. Only because it's cheaper. Save your little sh money, honey. Um, look, let me show you guys my other hand. Where the fuck is that bitch at? I mess. I need to buy another stand because I I don't know what I did with one of the pieces, and so I cannot put the magnet. It doesn't stay. So check it out. Here is the other hand. It's the same color as her. Hi, bitch. Hi, twin. And so it comes with a magnet. The half hands come with two magnets. And it comes with this. So it's a magnet. And you put it onto the, to the clamp. The, the, the hand holder or whatever. And so the one that I'm using right now, this one doesn't have magnets. It has a hole because it's heavier. Um, yes, Nene, I'm going to paint the Frenchies today. Yesterday I did with full acrylic. So today I want to practice painting them. And then I'm also going to paint some flowers. So I just don't know if I should do two fingers with flowers or just one. What do you guys think? I need a table stand that is suction because my table doesn't have plastic. Okay, let me show you guys the one that I have real quick. I bought this one on Amazon. So check it out. Look it. I bought this on Amazon. It's actually an armrest. Say hi to my cheek list right there. Um, it's it's an armrest, but because it's shiny, it sticks really good. So I really like that. Everything in here is bedazzle. Look if you fume fume. So get one of those, one of the glass, not I mean the plastic ones, the plastic armrests. Oh dang, I thought those were real lady fingers. <laughs> No, they're not. But that's why this hand is so good. Because it looks super real. Alright, let me get another napkin. I hi love what monomer do you use? Everything that I use. Oh shit, my iPad is falling. Everything that I use is available on my website. The link is on the bio. I'm using the smooth set monomer right now. Come on, bitch. Get in there. So if you guys would like to check out my website, the link is on the bio. Um, Everything I'm using today except the hand is from there. I see you got the rose on your side. Yes, girl. It's a must. A must. If you guys don't have one, why not? No se te cae la mano. De aquí no se me cae mucho. 
because I do have a glass table. I do have a glass table, pero I don't know if it's because, pues, está dusty a la verga mi fucking table. Or, or what? But sometimes it does come off. But for the most part, from the, the armors that I have it on, no se me cae. Hi, Psycho. How are you? Long time no chat. Hey, just kidding. I'm using cover salmon. I'm using cover salmon now. So I tried to add the thickness earlier a little bit. Do you have tutorial videos on how to lay acrylic? I'm learning to do nails. I need help. Um, I do have a YouTube channel just in case you guys are new here and you guys didn't know. Um, I do have a YouTube. It's Zule's Nails. Um, all my videos that I do here on my lives, you guys can find them over there. Um, we have over 300 videos. So I invite you guys to go follow me and binge watch Zule. You will learn something new in every video. I promise. Ooh, thank you. Thank you for the flores. Gracias. Gracias, amigas. So, today I'm not going to drink any more coffee. Ya tomé un chingo. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more towards the center. I'm missing a little bit. The thumb came out good. Thank you. My thumbs always come out crooked. So, si lo ven sideways. Is because she está sideways. And the nail tips don't fit me. My thumb is too fat. How's my lighting? Do you guys, can you guys tell the difference? I'm saving my last Red Bull. Red Bull gives you wings. Literally, huh? So, how do you guys see the lighting? Is it better today? Or lighting is good? I got an, uh, a light. I mean, I've been having a light, but I I bought me another lamp, the same one that I have at the salon. It's it's called look. Let me show it to you guys. Nifty, look. Net, nif, nifty. Right here, it's from Amazon. I bought this one a few years ago. And I have it at the salon. I don't know why I just never fucking bought one for here. Like, Zule been playing. Nah, just kidding. Um, I I guess I my hubby was the one who bought me my previous lighting. Like, he bought me a ring light. And he bought me this other one that's, like, super big for, like, pictures. Pero, um, how to call it? I, I feel like the lighting is not... Is not like, not that it's not good. It's really good. But it, I guess just bounces off or some shit. And this one just directly on the table, on the nails. So, como que it's better. I really like it at the salon. So, I was like, you know what? Pa que me hago pendeja y mejor me compro una. Yeah. He be buying me all kinds of shit so that I can better my, my content. But... Shit, what is this? A little lint in there? What's the name of the light again? It's called Nefty or um hold on, let me look. Ya tiré la pinche caja, pero it's called N E A T F I. Like neat and F I. Nef nefty. Ne nefty. Excuse me, I went. Thank you. Thank you, Psycho. All right. I was doing a real good job, honey, with this nail application. Oh, my God. I was watching a live earlier and a client fainted while getting... <gasps> what the fuck? For real? Oh, my God. That is fucking crazy. I hope she's okay. Oh, my God. That was scar me. Wow. All right. So I'm going to do the last two fingers. I'm going to do all of them with the same base color. 
Um, did you guys choose how many fucking nails I should do with flowers? One or two. Why do you use clear and pink nails? What? Clear? What do you mean, my friend? Two? Oh, like on a fake hand. Three. Te pasas, amiga. Te pasas. Como que three. <laughs> You're going to go wash your nalgas? Okay. Where do you get your bigger gems? Like the ones on your finger? Um, You can find them on my website. I actually sell them. They are Swarovski Christos. Okay. We'll do two. We don't have to do a poll. It's okay. Porque no me quiero levantar. Zule, off topic, but what's the difference in gel polish and the gel you use? Um, you mean r between rubber-based gel and gel polish? Because I use regular gel as well. If that's what you mean, um, that's what you mean, right? The rubber-based gel. So the rubber-based gel is a different formula. It's like a two-in-one kind of thing. Um... So normally for gel polish, gel polishes, you have to put a base coat before applying it, right? So the rubber base, um, you do not, you're not required for a base coat because it's already included in the formula. And it also is thicker. So it has a thicker consistency um, for like added strength. So if you guys are doing manicures, gel extensions, press-ons, fucking, um, I don't recommend it over acrylic. You could use them, but mainly for like manicures and gel extensions is what I would use it for because when it cures, it does cure harder, um, helping it like strengthen the nail pretty much. And so it doesn't need that many coats because it already is a thicker gel. So con unas dos pasadas, you already have your um, base coat in it. So it's not necessary to add an, a base coat. You just have to top coat it and voila. My daughter loves you. She has everything from you. She is very happy. Aww. Ooh, what's your daughter's name? Just watch the SpongeBob nails you did on YouTube. Ooh, yes, Brittany. Those stupid fucking nails took forever to upload onto YouTube. I thought that video was never going to upload. I was like, girl, what state are you in? I am from California. I'm from California, guys. So right now it's pretty early. Um, is it hard to do nails with long nails? In the beginning, it is. I ain't even gonna lie. I used to struggle. What the fuck is this? A little glitter? Yeah, I used to struggle in the beginning. But you know what? Um, Every time you increase your length. um, Every time you increase your length. um, You just have to get used to it. I can't really, I mean, I could do nails way longer than this, but I'll struggle a little bit. I'll, I'll feel like I'm sword fighting or some shit. Any fun stories? Girl, I don't got no fun stories. I was hoping to go to a casino today to get a little boba. To get a little boba. Can you add the rubber base before acrylic? Yes, you can. Um, so normally I would add the clear one, not the colored ones. The clear rubber base gel is the thinnest out of my rubber bases. So that one you can apply, um, before acrylic for a, a better adhesion. For people who are like problem lifters, I do recommend to try the rubber base gel. It, it kind of serves for the same purpose as a clear base layer. So I don't know if you guys ever struggled with like, let's just say black nails, because those are the ones I struggled with the most. 
if you're doing them with acrylic, like when you're filing, you shave off the fucking color. And because the color so like it's dark and pigmented, you could see like, let's pretend we did this now black and then we shaved it. And then now it's clear isn't fucking nail bitch. And you're like, fucking shit, because you went in there with clear, a clear coat and you applied it to thick. So for colors like that, I would do the rubber base coat. So it's super thin where it's like almost not even there. And so when you go in to file the, the acrylic, you don't really shave nothing off because it's like it's not even there. What, which nails you have on? Uh, I'll show you my nails right now. Hold on. So I hope that made sense. I know I talk a little fast sometimes when I get excited. When I get a little excited, I talk a lot. Ooh, those are what? Sticks? No, these are not sticks, girl. These are nails. Oh, you mean stickers. Yes, ma'am. Zule cannot draw. So um, these are stickers. You guys can find them on my website. I did not know that I didn't have them on my website no more. I had to look for them. Application fire. Thank you, Portia. Yes, sir. Can you bring me my cafe? I forgot it over there in the garage. Por favor. Yeah, my application varies from day to day. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good. I think it just depends on the fucking weather, to be honest. And on my energy or some shit. Yes, this is a... Be right back. Going to take a quick shower. Ah, te vas a bañar tú también? Okay. We'll be here. We'll probably be done when you get out. Hey, just kidding. Here you go, boss. Hasta el pan. Thank you. I was eating this pan earlier. Ya está más duro que la chingada. The, the are oh, they haven't started yet? No. Damn, I thought it was over. Is that a fake hand? Yes. Hey, girl, do you encapsulate the stickers or just on top? You can encapsulate the stickers if you want to. So let me show you guys the nails. But I personally don't recommend only because sometimes when you encapsulate a design or whatever and you're filing, you can shave it off. It's happened to me before. So I rather, I rather just put it on top. Hi, Leslie. A ver quién es. What? Hey, yo, bae. Hi. Hi, Janie. Still going to work. Uh, you're going to work? That hand is not real. No, it's not. Yes, I always shave it off. Uh-huh. So to avoid that, just put it on top. Our stickers are pretty good quality where they will not lift back in the day. That was people's problem. Um, well, just in general, stickers have gotten way better. I'm not going to say they're just my stickers either. Because just stickers in general have gotten a lot better. Our problem before used to be that they would lift, you know. That the stickers would not stick. Oh, mom said hi. Hi, Janie's mom. How are you? Um, So, how to call it back then, the stickers were not very sticky. And so, they would lift. And when we would put, like, top coat or whatever, they would come off. Now, that doesn't really happen. Unless you have, like oil on the nail or something or you touched it so much that you remove the sticky or whatever so as long as you rub it really good and flatten it down on the nail put your little top coat seal it in um i recommend to use a little thicker top coat if possible or if you want to make sure to secure a sticker real good um do how to call it a base coat first then the sticker so that the base coat techie could hold it very good. Hi, hi, Zach. Her waving like you can see her. <laughs> She's so cute. Well, I could picture that shit now. Hi, hi. Um. So yeah, and then top coat. 
I love your SpongeBob set. Thank you, Cheesy Mac, Mac and Cheese. Those were one of my ultimate favorite nails that I've done this year. I'm going to have to top it with my Kirby nails. I'm going to have my thin, 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 thin. Whoa, this set is fire. Giving professional vibes. It's because we're going to do the nail art right now. Hold on. We're going to do nail art today. We're going to do some hand-painted Frenchies with some hand-painted flowers. Um, Because I'm starting to practice for what I hope my clients don't ask for. Hey, just kidding. Nah, I foresee me doing two French sets tomorrow. I'm sad already. So I got to start practicing my Frenchies today. Because literally it's like what I said on my video. And what acrylic is this? This one is my cover salmon. Cover salmon from my website. Do you sell this hand? No, I do not sell it. You guys can find excuse me. You guys can find it on Red Iguana. I actually made a previous video maybe like last week when I received them. And I tagged them. So you guys can go check through my feed and follow them. Also, I do have a discount code if you guys are going to shop with them. Make sure to use code Zule to save. <sighs> yeah, so it's like I summoned my clients with their Frenchies with that fucking video I just made the other day. Like, do not move. Do not move, bitch. Do not even breathe. As a matter of fact, make me stop breathing because I'm about to paint the line incorrectly. Nah, I was so I was so impressed with my Frenchies actually that I made on my client, the one of the video. I did a really good job. I'm not very good at the Frenchies, but I'm getting better after each and every set. And so I told her, like, ma'am, stop moving. And she did a really good job and she did not move. I got the order. Can't wait to bling the keychain. Yes, honey. Ooh, you're gonna put bling on it? Wow, Martha. Girl, I was so angry today. My grandparents didn't wish me happy birthday yesterday. Ah, oh, grandma. Did, wait, did we sing to you yesterday? We, I sang to somebody, but I cannot remember if it was you. Where can we book? For a nail appointment? Um, If you are in California, in Los Angeles area, that's where I work. You can text me, but I don't have any openings until June. I didn't, I didn't know you weren't as comfortable with Frenchies too. Same here. No, girl. Uh-uh-uh. I have been avoiding those Frenchies since I started doing nails, girl. Mm-mm-mm. Zule got my Maybox. Damn, girl. Oh, wait. I'm like, bitch, you got it already? What do you mean? You didn't receive it already, did you? Because if you did, that mailman needs a fucking a tip. Hey. I was like, yeah, man, that was fresh as fuck. Yes, I am. Damn, girl, you packed. Oh, okay, yes. I always book about a month in advance. So right now, I'm already taking my priority appointments. Um, So I normally book appointments the first of the month for the following month. Um, But a lot of my clients like to book in advance. So if you guys would like to book an appointment, I... I'm accepting clients for long freestyles only. My regulars are the ones that could get whatever length they want. Everybody else has to meet the length requirement because no mames. No quiero hacer chiquitas las uñas. Mejor me quedo aquí en mi casa haciendo las de esta fucking hand. So... Not yet. Oh, okay, I was like, damn, girl, that shit was lightning fast shipping you. That is definitely half a prime. Half a prime. What is the length requirement? So I, it has to be above a number five, which is what I consider a long length. So it's above a five and the minimum is 230 cookies. At the moment. 
I always change the price. So depending on the month, depending on how busy I am is the price that I give. Y'all gonna be like Zule. Last time it was two fifty. Now it's two thirty. Two two. Next time it's gonna be what? Me. <laughs> I'm using the smooth and monomer. What is a freestyle? A freestyle is pretty much your nail tech um chooses everything. So um for those of you guys who are not familiar with freestyles, let's pretend you're coming to get your nails done with Zule. You tell me, okay, Zule, I have whatever the minimum is budget. Let's pretend it's two thirty, right? And how to call it? Um, I will ask you, do you have a color preference or shape, right? Because Zule is still considerate. I want to give you something that you're gonna like, and then some people are gonna be like surprise me or i like neon colors or i like neutral colors or they'll tell me my favorite color is pink or some shit like that so i can go based on that and then my follow-up question will be like um do you have a shape preference right because i don't want to give you stiletto if you cannot handle it you know like i don't want you to be poking your ass or anything like that um mostly everybody chooses coffin for the most part excuse me or square and then everything else everything else depending on your budget how to call it is up to zule so whatever i feel like doing to you i will do to your nails can zule oh you saw the emotes can you show the handstand that you have yeah hold on let me scratch my chichi me pica Alright, hold on. So look it, check it out. This one's from um Red Iguana, the handstand. She sells it. And then the arm wrist, I got it from Amazon. Look at it. And then I also have this bling bling for my phone. I got it on Amazon Damien. You guys are turning me into an Amazon lover, which is dangerous, let me tell you. Dangerous. All right, let me put on my little glove, suckle file, coffin square. <laughs> I don't really have stiletto clients anymore. I only have one. Everybody else is into coffin. Coffin and actually, uh, uh, almond, bitch. The armrest is not glass. It's made out of um plastic. I bought it so when Mimi comes, I have an armrest for her because I've been I've been struggling to position her hand. So let me just take off this little. Oh, and a mask. Oh, Martha, Martha. Let me find a mask. I don't really have masks in here. I should. Hold on, I had them right here on my desk. I'm lying. What happened to your pink Zule mat? It's behind me. It's on the floor. What's? It's uh, um behind me against the wall. So the reason why I don't really use it is because it's about a little bit less than an inch thick. So it makes my hand a little taller. And my chair is not that tall. So then my back starts to hurt. So I either have to get a taller chair... Um, or I don't use it. What size is your brush, Zule? Um, the size brush that I was using today is a size 24. So here are my nails. So I don't have to do a lot of filing today because the nails are already looking pretty snatched. I'm just going to bend the fingers a little bit. How long does it take you to do a client? It takes me about a two to three hours, depending on what I'm doing to them. If I'm doing like something intricate, like a freestyle, it could take me up to four hours. Um, Because Zule gets into her zone. That's why I do have a specific minimum, you know, because... Pues ya me tarda la verga. So, a super clean workspace, great lighting, wearing a mask. Where's the real glue lady? 
Uh, is my workspace is not clean. I just didn't show you my messy side. I got a new um, I got a new light this today. Hey Zule, what are you hiding? What do you mean? I ain't hiding anything. They're forcing me to wear a mask. How much for nails like yours? For anything like mine is always above 250 cookies. About 300 or more depending. Where do you get your hand? Um, This hand is from Red Iguana. Red Iguana. Under the glove. Oh, okay, okay. My nails. I'm not hiding anything. I'm just protecting them from the file. All right, so let's find on this one. Yes, dollars. Dollars, honey. I live in, in the United States, so it, it's definitely dollars or cookies, whatever you want to call it. What skin tone is the hand? I want to say... Fuck, what the fuck did I say earlier? I don't remember what what color I said it was. I'll, I'll remember in a little while. No, no. Yo estoy en California, amiga. Aquí no usamos pesos. Es en dólares. Um, ¿Cómo se llamaba esa pinche mano? Um, no, I actually said the real name, but I forgot. Oh, just kidding. Eh, just kidding. Um, I forgot her fucking name. Well, my, my, my other hand that I have is called Nicole. This one is called, oh, yeah, yeah, Inesa. Andale, esa perra maldita. Yeah, I think that's her name. No, it's, it's, no, Maria. Look, let me show you guys. Hold on. This one is, um, what the fuck did I just say? Nicole. This one's Nicole right here. I think, yeah, she is Nicole. She's my favorite. I love her. But look at her finger go that way. She been wearing nail too long. Her finger go all kinds of way now. Um, Zule, tips on how to charge. Well, everyone gets offended when I charge more. Um, one thing I'm gonna tell you is the ones that are gonna get offended when you charge more are gonna be clients that have been with you for a long time. So, um, normally try to implement your new prices on your newer clients. Um, that's, that's what I've noticed. Like I have clients who ooh, have been coming with me for a long time. So I don't really charge them what I normally would charge a new client. Um, I charge them a little bit cheaper and only because also they pay me for their priority service, which kind of balances, I guess. Um, and when I charge them, sometimes here and there, I notice that they're like in their face. Se les nota like, ¡Uy, qué caro! Pero, how to call it, because they, they've been stuck with me for a long time. They don't realize how much nails actually cost. So, when they go somewhere else and then they come back is when they really, truly, how to call it, um, are going to appreciate your work. So, how to call it, um... If you want to upgrade your prices, just implement them on the newer people and then little by little, um, do it on your regulars. But I mean, your work has to match the price you're asking for, because if, if you don't do good work, if you don't do good work and you're trying to charge like an arm and a leg, like your stuff doesn't last or whatever, um, then they're not going to come back. So you want to be pretty fair with your prices as well. I feel like pricing is kind of hard. 
because pues everybody's different verdad pero like you want to make enough to keep doing what you love to do and a little bit more um but sometimes in the beginning you can't you can't really do that because how to call it you you're still learning i always i always say that being a beginner a uh, nail tech it's kind of like starting a new job. You get paid very little. You have the worst, the worst schedules. And how to call it, um, you have to work your way up. Like when I started doing nails, I used to charge $12. $12, bitch. And I used to take forever. So that was like pennies. I got paid pennies per client, which which was okay because I had a regular job. So I was like, I mean, it was okay and it was not okay because I was losing money. But you guys have to remember, take it like an internship. If you guys are new and you're like, fuck, pues ni hago dinero. If you guys were like, um, I don't know, a medical assistant or something, they're going to require you to volunteer in the beginning, right? So take it like if it's an internship. Porque no te van a pagar con dinero. You're not going to make money out of this internship that you're doing as a beginner nail tech, I guess. But you're getting paid with experience, which is way better. You know, porque... Yeah, después, when you get good, like, let's just say it takes you six months to a year to get bomb as fuck. Yeah, you didn't make no money in this whole year, but the time you start doing nails, because now your nails don't lift, you do really good job or whatever, now you can charge whatever you feel, whatever you feel you're worth. If you think you should be making uh, no less than 50 cookies per client, like, base, then you charge that and your clients will be the ones to show you if you're worth it or not because how to call it um if they just never come back then something's wrong you know oh thank you um deb so if you don't have returning clients then that's how you know like okay something's wrong what am i doing wrong why are they not re returning so then you have to kind of go back and look at everything like, hmm, am I overcharging them? What Or like, are their nails lifting? So don't ever be afraid to ask your clients for feedback because that's just going to help you get better. And then every 6 to 12 months, you'd want to um give yourself a little raise, you know? You want to give yourself a little raise depending on how they call it. If you got better with your application or your designs. So that's what I used to do before, how to call it, every six months, like when I used to charge 12 fucking cookies, I was like, okay, let me give myself a five cookie raise. And then in another six months, I'd be like, okay, well, now I make 20 cookies per set. So now I'm going to um, change my prices for nail art because sometimes we don't even charge the client for the art because you're insecure or whatever like for me my insecurities are frenchies bitch that's why we're gonna do this today we're gonna do frenchies i cannot fucking draw for shit so when my clients would ask me to draw them anything even if it was a stupid little flower i wouldn't charge them for it because i felt like I personally shouldn't because it was not that great, you know? And if they were going to complain for it, at least I didn't fucking charge them. Be like, uh, girl, you cannot complain. I tried and I did not charge you for the fucking flower. Everything else you get in charge for, but not the flower, you know? And then so you just practice. And once you start to get better, be like, okay, you know what? Now I could kind of charge for my French. It's looking better than with the nail shop you go down the street, right? So then that's that's when like six months later, I'm like, OK, OK, I could charge for that. So that's how you increase your prices. You don't want to increase your prices like from one day to another uh, either, because then your clients are going to be like, what the fuck? Like instead of five cookies, it's 20 cookie difference. Like what the hell? You know, we have to also remember that 
how to call it um some of these people can barely af afford to pay a you know your regular price so it's, it you will lose some clients and that's okay that's part of the process oh my god frenchies be making me want to stop no girl don't stop wait until i get to the, the frenchies right now i am not the best at them either but i'm getting better so hopefully i could teach you my little technique that has been working for me um but yes frenchies are definitely a bitch oh they be they be fucking playing with me honey Thanks. I try everything from primers to top coats and your glue and your brush cut my work in half. Ooh, yes, honey. That's what I like to hear. Yes. And then over time, you're just going to naturally get better. What kind of bit is that? And what speed? This bit is my extra fine bit. Um, you can find it on my website and I have it on 10, 10 RPMs, 10,000 RPMs. And I'm the same way with my 3D flowers. You guys just have to be patient with your, with your process, pretty much. Be patient. Patience is key and that is how to call it what well, pretty much we have to remember just like anything it's kind of like driving you get your license and then you still suck like i always be like how the who the fuck gave that bitch a fucking license that bitch cannot fucking drive you know <laughs> so the same thing uh people are gonna be like who the fuck gave you your fucking license delay when i was a beginner because i didn't know how to do a lot of things and how to call it um when I was a beginner, some people, just because I had a license, they thought that I knew how to do everything. Like, Zule can do French and gel light. Uh, bitch? No. I know how to do basic fucking nails, okay? That doesn't mean I could give you the whole shebang. I cannot draw you a fucking portrait. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. I'm new here. Hello. And so you have to also explain to your clients or your future potential clients. Um, that's why it's really important for you to start a little portfolio, like an online portfolio, which is pretty much your Instagram, your TikTok. That is your work. Post it all, even the not so pretty work, because when people are going to come, come get their nails done, they cannot just see perfection because perfection is not it's not real. You're going to have days where you don't do such good jobs, you know, and I tell you guys that all the time that sometimes my application is better than other days because it's true. Sometimes it's going to be not so good. Sometimes it's going to be fucking way better. And so people need to see that, that you're not perfect because if they do come see you and you're perfect when they're going to expect perfection. I came out of cosmetology school license and didn't even know how to use gel. Girl, me too. Me too. Gel was new when I when I went to school. But that's why I'm saying that with time and practice, you'll learn different things. Like right now, I still am learning different techniques, different methods. And I've been doing those for 10 years. So how to call it? Just be patient. I know that's not what you guys want to hear, but yes, patience is definitely key. I didn't learn anything in school. You did, girl. If you're licensed, you learned something. Nails, you probably didn't, but you learned something. Yes, yeah, something something will throw you off your game in a second. Has that happened to you? Yes, ma'am. It could just be your your mood too. Like sometimes you're not you're out of it a little bit and then it's you're out of everything hi grisela como estas welcome all right so we're almost done here is it is it a what what are your thoughts recommendation for minors learning nails 
Um, well, it depends on the age. I mean, I feel like it's, you're never too young to start exploring the nail industry or just anything in general. But I personally would not allow, like if I had a daughter or a son, whatever, that they want to do nails, like anything below age 15, I would probably start them off with possibly poly gel. I wouldn't want them to be exposed to these chemicals um, at such a young age because, um, again, these are chemicals and they will harm you in, like, long term, you know? Like, we don't really think about this, but we should all be taking care of of ourselves because we don't know what this shit is going to do to us. So thank you for reminding me to put on my mask because the dust is very harmful for us. Especially all the little one that's flying around and shit. So do get a dust collector if you can. Hi, Lori. I started at 12. Damn, girl, you were young, young. Doing acrylics? I started at 10. Damn. You guys were young. I started painting my nails when I was young, but not acrylics. I'm 15 and I just started learning. Okay. Um, RG325, you better be wearing a mask. Por favor, please wear a mask and wear gloves when you're working. Because you do not want to get... um. Uh, you don't want to become allergic to these products before you're even 18, okay? And don't go for the cheapest shit, please, please, please. I know sometimes money is the issue where we don't have the extra money, but we want to get some stuff to get better and things like that. But um, there's other alternatives. Use your birthdays, Mother's Days, if you guys are mothers, Christmas, any fucking holiday, bitch. Use it as an excuse to ask your family. Or sometimes you don't even got to ask. They'll be like, so what do you want for your birthday? And then you're always like, nothing. It's okay. Fuck no. You ain't going to say nothing no more, honey. You're going to be like, you know what? Um, If you really want to buy me something, can you buy me something for my hobby? Or for my business? Or something like that? Like a new acrylic, a brush. Like, también no se pasen de verga and be like, a whole gel collection or a nail lamp? No, don't do that. Um, just guide them to Zule Nail Shop, the big cartel. A eh? yes, little things like that. Mask, gloves. Be like, you guys can give me this. Send them links or a website of the place you want to shop at because if you do not guide them, they will just get you whatever. Not that that you shouldn't be grateful for whatever, but um remember how to call it um i don't know if you guys were here when i was talking about my brother years ago when i started to do nails him and his girlfriend at the time they bought me stuff from walmart to do nails but they didn't know any better and but they were like for kids to play with and i was like dude this is not gonna work but it was a thought that counted you know so just be like okay buy me this can you buy me this and little by little Little by little, how to call it, um, you can grow your inventory, your products. <sighs> your glove. Oh, yeah, my glove ripped already. It's because I've been going. <laughs> my nails are so long, sometimes it just rips. Any tips on a coffin shape? Um, I recommend for any shape to just try to get yourself some um, pre-shaped nails. Those will just help facilitate your shaping. Hold on. Let me move my stupid phone. Damn, psycho. Tú si te lavaste la cola bien, no como la Jimena. Llegó mal. Tú te fuiste primero y ella regresó first. So yeah, don't 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 go for the cheapest things, please, because sometimes those are the worst. 
And when you guys are buying monomer, please don't go for one that's like 16 ounces and it costs like 20 cookies. That is a red flag. I only had to do body. <laughs> you only had to do body, honey? Okay, 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 okay. I'm just joking. It's a freaking fake hand. It show sure is. It show sure is. Zule, how did you start selling your own products? I actually started it as a hobby. Okay, it's time to take this shit off. I started selling um on my online store as a hobby years ago. And then um little by little I started to invest in my own brand. Um, but I didn't start my store with that in mind. I just did it for fun in the beginning. But let me tell you guys one thing. If you are planning to open like a store or anything online, please do your research with getting like all your your business stuff. Um, How to call it? Done correctly, like get a business license, depending on your state, of course. You how to call it? Um, ¿Cómo se say? Depending on your state are the requirements. But, like, I was in business for, like, a year, and I did not have a, a business license. And so, when I was with my taxes, they're like, okay, where's your business license? I'm like, I don't have one. And then, um, I could have gotten in trouble if I didn't have one. But at the time when I started, um, online, online businesses were not as, like, popular. But now... The IRS be all up on that shit. They want their money, honey. So just do your research before you start anything. But get started now. If it's something that you want to do, do it now. Don't wait. All right, give me a second. I'm just flipping the hand around. And how to call it? Um, to crisp up my nails a little bit. The acrylic that I'm using today is Cover Salmon. I don't know why, but I always file crooked, honey. This color is so pretty, huh? Alrighty. Yeah, this color is Cover Salmon. I I file a little to the to the left, yeah. What about Mia Secret products? I actually used to use Mia Secret products when I was a beginner. I personally um, upgraded to Young Nails. I'm not saying Mia Secret products are not good. They are. Um, I personally don't like their glitters. They're kind of ugly. So if you guys are going to use Mia Secret, then their covers are nice. Their monomer, I haven't used in years. So I'm not sure if... If it's changed or not. But I also use their activator. Hello Maricela. Como estas? Hi Lucy. Alright. So let's buff these nails. Getting ready for this nail art. Honey. 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 Their monomer was good when I used to use it. It's just super toxic. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't used it in ooh long, long time. Um, once I was starting to charge a little bit more, I was able to afford young nails. So I was like, all right, I could afford young nails now. I'm home, coffee and nails. Best day. Yeah. Well, all all monomers and nail products with like chemicals are definitely toxic for us um but just make sure to open up your window how long will you be having a box on the website how long will you be having the box um it's actually sold out already i was considering adding maybe like 10 more for those of you guys who missed out or a few more but I'm not sure. I'm still thinking. I, I'm thinking about it. We already shipped them all out. I have to see if we even have any more of certain items. 
do you recommend a monomer? Um, I recommend you try our brand, girlfriend. Oh my god, Zule, I will sell you right now. For what? For what? Oh, for the May box. Um, give me a second. I can have El Jefe add like 10 more if you guys are interested. So that way we can send them out this week. I checked this morning and it was there. Then I checked again and it was sold out. Hold on. Let me text him and I could add a few right now. Since it's Mother's Day, huh? We could add a few. Let me text him. Stupid nail. Okay, hold on. He's watching a game, so hopefully he hears on the fucking phone. Is your monomer got a strong smell to it? I personally don't feel like it's strong. It does have like a little fragrance to it. Um, but if you guys have tried my monomer, feel free to leave a review for our lovely friend here. And you guys, be honest. Everybody has a different nose. So for some people, it'll be a little stronger than others. Like for my sister... She, how do you call it? Um, she does not care for monomer smell. She hates it. But she said that the the dip and monomer one, I mean the dip and ombre one, is tolerable for her. I don't know if I've ever used the smooth set monomer with her or not, but she said she doesn't smell it as much. All right, so that's it. Let me go wash her hand. This is the part I don't like about doing nails, filing. Ugh. <laughs> que hueva. I know I don't really like it either. All right, hold on. Did you add them? Let me go wash her hand. I'll be back. All right, so for the boxes that we are going to be adding, we may not have enough of a certain, like, style of crystal or, or decal. I'm not sure how many we have left, but if if we don't have enough, just know that you're going to get a different, a different sticker, possibly, okay? But they're still going to be pretty and flowers. All right, so let me dry the bitch. My instructor said I'm bringing duck nails back. Yes, honey. Okay, so they're already on the store. If you guys wanted to go get your box, we added a few of them. I'll work on them um on Thursday. Because tomorrow I have to go to work. Alright, so check it out. This color is so fucking pretty, bitch. On the camera, they look more pink than usual. All right, go ladies, go get your box. All right. I've been drinking the same coffee for fucking all day. So today, oh yeah, we're going to do nail art. All right, let me get my, my base coat. Hmm. 
Where the fuck is my base coat, bitch? All right, so we're going to use the rubber base coat. Um, So a lot of people forgot. Are they your nail tips on the mannequin? Um, I use the 3XL square on the mannequin. And the ones on the monthly box are the ones that I have on my nails. So a lot of people forgot. Stay hydrated, Zule. Mm -hmm. I'm dehydrating my body. A lot of people forget to put rubber, I mean, base coat when they're going to do nail art. So don't forget that. I know I skip it a lot for my videos, but not too long ago, one of my lovely followers was like, Zulane, do we not need to put base coat? And then I was like, fuck, I always skip that step on myself because on myself and on my hands because I don't keep my nails long enough, right? For them to like chip or anything. So I have decided to always do that step so that you guys do not learn incorrectly. So whenever you guys are going to do nail art, please put base coat so that your gel can stick very, very good. And then also the paint just glides on a lot better. Some people have been using matte, matte, um, como se dice? Matte matte top coat and then doing nail art i'm not sure if that works the same or not but i've tried it and the gel glides on pretty good i haven't had any like lifting issues at all with the gel with either method but pues we're gonna use the so the reason why i didn't put this one all the way up is because i'm lazy hey now nah, i'm gonna do french on that one I'm going to do Frenchies and then these other two fingers. Um, yeah, I usually don't either. Like for acrylics, I, I was told it was not necessary. But I was like, let me not teach these girls wrong. Um, because I do add it on my clients. I just don't add it to my hands or anything like that. And I haven't had issues, like I said. But just in case... You can never go wrong with a little base coat. <sighs> okay, let me do it all the way to the top. I love your nails. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Portia, for the help. So what are you guys doing tonight? What are you doing? I'm going to try to do a deep French. Like, not too too deep but deep guess the color that i'm doing today guess the color what color do you guys think i'm doing today packing up to move Ooh, packing i'm going to my sister-in-law's house to do her nails oh yes what color are you doing orange ah you cheaters you guys if you said orange, bitch, you've been here since the beginning. I showed you guys the fucking photo. You told us orange. I know. You know what? From now on, if you guys um are here from the beginning and I'm giving you guys a trick question, please don't answer it. Don't answer it. <laughs> that was a trick question. Well, it wasn't a trick question. It was for the girls who came in late. I want to know, I want to know who has been here from the beginning. I mean, who wasn't here? All right, ma'am, stick your hand in the lamp for 60 seconds. I feel like I'm running out of breath today, honey. Sorry, I thought you forgot. Is it tropical? No, Mayra, I'm going to do gel. I'm going to paint today. It's the live description. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> Let's see if people read. Okay, Vanessa, girl, you smart. Where are you putting up your other videos? When are you putting up your other videos? They're going up um a little bit at a time. Um, Sondra, I uploaded one today. 
Hi, Mason. Welcome. I'm dead. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot I put it in the description, to be honest. Um, what the fuck was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to be painting some nails today. <sighs> Zule, please don't start with that fucking yawning already. No, uh, uh, honey. Yeah, I was I was testing you guys to see if you guys read. But tropical, if you guys were to do this on a, a acrylic version, tropical would be such a beautiful color. I'm gonna be using this one, gel number ninety one. Let me get a chiclito. I'm from California. I don't know whose gums they are, but. They're delicious. I think they're my brothers. All right, let me dust myself. All right, normally I use a, um, a palette, but lately I've been lazy. That sounds like what I'm going to be sounding like later on tonight. Don't forget to shake your shit, please. Shake your your gels, please. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> That's how I get Zach out, out to comment. <laughs> Don't get throat cancer. Save a life. Mm -mm. We ain't getting no throat cancer. Hell nah. Hell no. Nah. All right, let's get this gel, gel brush. Honey, your finger go that way. Okay, maybe not that side. Mm. My mouth is getting watery. All right, so I'm going to use this side, the long side. I'm using the twin one liner brush. And since the last time that I used it, it has glitter on it. I'm going to just take the glitter off with clear top coat. So I'm just using the Zule No Wipe. You just use whatever gel you got. And then literally just run the little bristles through the gel. And this kind of helps too if your bristles are ever like stuck-ish. You know, like sometimes you feel like they're a little tangled or super stiff. So this will kind of loosen them up. Yes, this is a fake hand. And I like this gel method too because it will remove any color that's in there. Okay, I think there's still some in there, but 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 we're just gonna leave it like that. All right, so I'm gonna do this finger and this finger Frenchies. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, and then the other two. Oh man, I already got dust on them, bitch. Well, I'm gonna have to wipe in wipe them. All right, let's let's do this Frenchie. So for whoever was saying they struggle with Frenchies, pay attention because I struggle with them too. And this is a way that helps me a lot. So I like to start off by painting the side of the nail. I don't know. I just like to do that part. I like to do that part right there on the side all the way to the shade. This color is so fucking beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, and then we do the inner chain. So, the reason why I start off with the sides is because how to call it, it's gonna kind of guide me later on as to where I'm gonna connect the lines. Breadwinner, where you been, at, honey? All right. So normally the Frenchies go high anyway. So, all right, let's see. How low would you like? How low would you like it? Okay, and then we're going to decide how deep do we want it. So I think I'm going to go this this deep. That's what she said. How deep do you want it? This deep. Right? This is deep enough? Zule, didn't I see something about an online 3D class? Oh, yes, Maricela, I did, but I erased it. I mean, I need to upload it again. 
Um, I erased it because I had to, I forgot to add something to the fucking flyer. I'm going to upload it again tomorrow. Deep. I forgot to add some information to the flyer. Like, how are you going to pay like that? I was telling my classmates about it. Yeah. Nazule playing with our emotions. No, no, no. I'm, I erased it because I realized my dumbass forgot something. Okay, so for this part, I cannot talk. I cannot talk. I thought I was a baddie and I could talk, but it's best if I don't. So this little line is going to guide me to how far I'm going to go with my French. Obviously, you could always go up higher. Mm, but I don't. I'm going to go deep. So I'm going to bring in the, the brush. And kind of go like this. <laughs> Client, stop moving. Stop moving, bitch. Hey, just kidding. She don't move. She don't move. She not moving today. They'll be like, ma'am, you hit your clients? The hell? Alright, so then I'm gonna try the next side. This is a hard part for me. Oh, I already fucked up, bitch. Honey. I fucked up already, guys. All right, so I'm going to fill in the rest of the nail, and then I'll check to see if I need to fix it. Is that Cardi or Marie? This is, she don't have a name. Frenchies be irritating me lately. Girl, you've been doing a lot of Frenchies lately. They're becoming out better and better. I'm going to try it like this. A ver como I do um, Psycho, your Frenchies already look good. What you talking about? I just saw your Frenchie press on say you were working on earlier. The client move? Fucking bitch, I'm gonna smack you. I'm gonna throw away your phone. You wanna be playing Candy Crush while I do your Frenchies? This is gonna be the only painted nail I do. You're gonna you're gonna keep the rest nude if you keep moving. Girl, I told you to stop moving. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> I hate when one side comes out better than the other. <sighs> Me too. It's kind of like um, our eyeliners. Now, so I'm just going to fill it in. I normally use my gel brush to fill this in. But I was playing around with gel. And I put red in my brush. And good luck taking the red out right now. So I'm just going to fill it all in with my brush. Honey. Ay, pendeja. We could have um, just painted it with the regular gel brush. Ay, que tonta. Okay, the French is not that bad. Okay, Zulane. Now let's fix it up. And then, of course, it depends on the client's nail beds. If they have um super skinny nail beds like this index finger, the French will appear slimmer. We're just going to blame it on her nail, okay? All right, now turn. I like to turn the hand. The French is Frenching. I like to turn the hand to double check because my eyes be a little cray-cray sometimes. Okay, it passes. It passes. Okay, okay. Okay. Mm hmm Yes, the French is definitely trust the process. All right, so. Ah, oh my God, Zulay, you touched the fucking nail, stupid ass. All right, let me cure this nail real quick before I fuck shit up. Because you cannot trust Zulay in jail. You just can't. She touches the nail. All right, go in there. Make sure to face forward, client. Yes, this is already going to hand. Okay. 
cute orange. Thank you, thank you. I wish Neltex here in South Africa could do long nails like yours. They're so cute. Can you show me? Well, I'm sure there's Neltex everywhere around the world that do amazing long nails. You just have to find them. Um, you can follow me on YouTube. I have plenty of videos on there. Hi, Patrin. Are you done with your homework? Are you like a pop tart? No, thank you. I have a chicle. Right. I don't really like pop tarts either. They have too much sugar. Well, this is the most oh, and talking about sugar, I ended up googling, googling the label, and they do have some type of sweetener in them. Kind of like Splenda. A sweetener, not a sugar. A sugar, tomato. Tomato, tomato. You can't tomato, tomato science. Uh, yes, you can. That's not how science works. It's worse. Okay, come on. Take out my trash. Isn't that what you were going to do? I was going to offer you a pot. Oh. No, thank you, Patrick. I didn't bring it back. Okay. Yeah, me and Patrick were having a discussion today about his drink. Because it says sugar-free. Or no sugar or some shit like that. But I was telling him that normally when things say that, they have something else. Not necessarily like sugar, but something like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's so sweet. He sure is. Artificial sweeteners. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do this now, too. The pinky. The pinky nail. I love orange. I love me some orange. All right. So let me do the other side. Yeah, I forgot what the fucking word was called. I googled it. Okay, hold on. Let me throw away my chicle. I'll put it right here. Use code too late to save on red iguana hands. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys are going to buy from red iguana, please use code too late. All right, so for the pinky nail, I'm going to draw the line. Okay, and you know what? Another thing, another, how to call it, um, reason why I like to draw a line here it gives me a, a like mental picture of all of them, how low they are. Because, you know, sometimes when you freestyle, you're like, oh, how low is the next one? So then I kind of see like, okay, from each nail, I need about that much space if you're doing them all. So that's why I like to do it like that, too. Hold on, let me move this finger because it's in my way. All right, let's do the French. Sorry, guys, I can't talk in this part. What's the most highest price of full set of nails you have charged? Um, the most that I charge is about five fifty. Five thirty, five fifty. The most recently that I have charged is four twenty, but long, long time ago, before COVID, and before we got shut down, it was about I don't I can't remember the exact number. All right, hold on. Okay, that French needs work, but what did they get done? Um, they got bling nails. So this is what I should have been doing earlier instead of with my stupid liner brush. Like, how come nobody told me? No, I do not make press-ons. I am considering doing them for fun, potentially in the near future. Ah, yeah, 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 I just fucked it up. So this is why I don't do this, because me paso de verga.
All right, hold on, guys. Zuli cannot talk. Zuli cannot talk right now. She's painting. How much is a full set? It. Oh my God, Zule, you just touched the nail. It depends on what my clients get. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's let's fix. Let's fix. So you charge 20 for each bling nail. I charge more than 20, depending on the length. Depending on the length is how much you pay. This is hard, guys. This is hard. Okay, one more thing, honey. Okay, honey. Um, this orange is number ninety one. Is this one number 91 from Zule nail shop link on bio orange is my favorite color yes honey mine too well is one of my favorites all right so let me turn the hand and double check if if the French is looking good okay ma'am turn your hand please I'm currently using my two-in-one liner brush. So this brush comes with two ends. This is the longer side. The other one is, is um a little shorter. This is my ultimate favorite liner brush. Okay, yes. I need to clean it a little bit. Lori does love orange, huh? Lori, we heard your next set's gonna be orange. What? What? Okay, so I do need to clean the nail a little bit. I'm going to use this brush. Yes, everybody, do your nails orange, orange. All right. I need alcohol. I need help. What do you need help with, honey? All right. So if you guys need an acrylic color similar to this one, I would recommend Tropical. Very beautiful. You can pull off orange. You can do it. If you're afraid of the color orange, just ombre. Ombre it. If you guys ever feel like you cannot pull off a bright color, you can never go wrong with an ombre. With a nude, you will tone it down. All right, let me do this again. <laughs> okay, okay, Zule, you got this. You got this, bitch. All right, put in the lamp. I need a orange. We have a few different oranges on the website. If you want to check it out, yes. We're going to name one after Patrick. Patrick likes cuties. Huh, Patri? Where'd you buy the practice hand? It's from rediguana.com. Iguana the green. Mm -hmm. Well, this one is red. Red Iguana. When does the guilt of charging your worth go away? Um, I don't think it ever does. Unless you're like super cocky, then it goes away quick. Some people just, I don't know. I think some people... It's harder for us because um, we we take into consideration that other people got bills too, you know? So, como que you kind of feel bad. Don't feel bad. Yeah, like Patrick do, would not have guilt charging his prices. Patrick, how much would you charge for my nails? Okay. These. Give us a number. All right, so first of all, I would like to know how much you spent making them. Mm, no, just give us a no, ballpark no, no, no. number. We can't give you that information. Just give us a number. 
my, my number don't go based off. Hmm, um, I'll go with and go by how much is it worth? Are they currently worth? Then I'll probably make a very bad price. What What about what about your time? Does Example, that example? How much were the breads that you got from Costco? How much were they? I don't remember. Like seven dollars. Exactly. Little old me, like one bag, one little loaf in a bag, like five dollars. I don't understand what uh, that reference, Patrick. One loaf, one little, one bread, one bread, five bucks. Where for you? If you're selling them, yeah. Okay, you gotta make profit. You're yeah, like, and it doesn't make sense. You got the whole batch for, for eight dollars. And that's business, honey. And then you got one whole one for five dollars. One free for yeah. you. Okay, Patrick didn't answer us, but Patrick, just give us a number. How much would you charge for these nails? Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Okay, Patrick. He he gonna be a celebrity nail artist. But yes, like I was saying, sometimes you will just forever feel guilty. Sometimes some some people are just built that way. Some others are just not okay, maybe cocky would not be the word. They're just more confident. Okay, El Jefe is right here. Let's ask him. He's more of a cocky, confident person. How much would you charge for these nails? How much would I charge for yes. the ones in your hands? Yeah, it's because this girl's asking that how, when does the guilt go away of charging your worth? But I'm telling her that some people will forever feel guilty. Yeah. But you've yeah. always been kind of cocky like when you used to run. You always wanted to be the best and stuff like that. One, two. Or... So, I don't know. I didn't know you back then. So, like, if you were a nail person, you'd be the same, I'm sure. Mm, kind of, yeah, a little bit. So, would you feel guilty charging your worth? Um, when I was younger, probably, because uh, in my head, I'd be like, I don't want to charge a lot because I don't want to scare the person. But, like, the more work you put in and the more experience you're getting is like you need to how do you say it? like you need to make it all worth it mm -hmm. you just can't be giving away your your work right um or else what's gonna happen is you're gonna burn out you're not gonna have fun doing it no more right and that's not the point so yeah later on i would learn to charge uh Charge what I what I'm worth, basically. Right. I don't know if that makes sense or <laughs> forget Myra Hefe. She's mine right now. Go away. Just right. kidding. Can't no, uh, but the, the Lakers are half time, that's all. Okay, but how much would you charge for my nails? Hold on. Patrick said eight hundred dollars for him. He's a celebrity nail tech. That's because Okay, it's so encapsulation, the length for both sets. Yeah, like together, as is. Mm -hmm. uh, like two fifty. Two fifty. Okay, so don't don't feel bad. I know a lot of us do feel bad sometimes, but overall, like he said, you cannot feel bad because how to call it? Um, your products. You have to take in consideration the products that you're buying if you're paying for a salon suite you know like rent you need to be able to cover that because yeah nails are fun and all that but with fun you're not gonna pay your rent you're not gonna feed your family and shit like yeah, that you know because the customers are not gonna feel bad for you when you like uh, go out of business because you didn't charge enough right they're not gonna care about you they're gonna be like oh well then i'm gonna have to find another nail tech all right on to the next one. So, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
Yeah, and there's some people que si se pasan de verga a little bit with their work. Oh, it's dirty. I need to wash it. But everybody um considers their value different. It's kind of like a fucking purse, you know? Like, at the end of the day, it may be all worth the same, a Michael Kors purse and a Louis Vuitton purse. Maybe to cost, like the cost costs the same to make, but the brand is what makes it more expensive. So... As long as you have clients and you're getting you're getting enough to pay your business and yourself, that should be like suficiente, you know? I don't know if I should put one more coat. But definitely I do I do be feeling guilty sometimes too because um how to call it some of my clients I've been knowing them for years and I know their financial situations or whatever the fuck I feel bad or like I'm grateful and it's not even sometimes feeling bad it's just I'm grateful they stuck around for so long so here and there I'll give them like a little freebie and shit which is fine you could do that too just just don't don't undercharge your worth don't don't do it because like he said you're gonna want to give up like you're gonna work so hard like back then when i used to charge way less um of course it's been years from then and now i still feel like my prices are still pretty cheap compared to other people and you guys are gonna be like bitch you just said you charge 500 cookies da -da -da -da. but that's not uh every client okay so back then I used to how to call it work all day all day and make almost no money and then little by little I started to make more money but if I didn't make no money for the whole time I would have quit like you know because since I started doing nails um at the salon I've always had to pay rent I've oh, I had to pay my nail supplies and I had to manage a way to pay Zule. You know, because los biles, pues no paran. Just the way your clients have bills, you do too as a small business. And it's sad because sometimes it's like we got to pay to make money in a way, you know, because we have to pay rent to be able to even open shop. And some clients don't give a fuck. Some clients don't give a fuck that you have to pay rent. Some clients don't give a fuck, you know, so uno tiene que pensar igual. Like, I'm not going to feel bad because I have bills to pay, too. And if I don't get paid enough, then I cannot come to work. Um, Like, the one thing that it is kind of hard to price are crystals. I've always, I've always struggled with that because you want to give your clients the good shit, the good shit. Like, crystals, um... Like Swarovski crystals, those have and forever will be expensive. And some clients will never understand that. They'll be like, the fuck? Like um, earlier when I said that I charge $5.50 for nails, most of it was crystals. Like I didn't really make that much for myself. It was what the crystals cost themselves, you know? And you guys know Swarovski crystals are expensive. They've always been expensive. So just keep that in mind. Do not feel guilty when it's what it costs, you know? It's kind of like el camarón or like seafood, bitch. You guys know it's expensive. So you cannot, like if you have a seafood restaurant or whatever, you cannot be like, I don't want to like, bitch, you know, tacaro. that shit will forever be expensive. So don't expect it to ever be cheap anywhere. It's like, don't expect a lobster tail to be five bucks. It ain't. Did your friends support you in the beginning? Not really. No. To be honest, I've never really had friends. Um, and that sounds kind of sad, but so when I was in high school, I had friends that I hung out with, but they were all kind of fake, you know, like so that's why I always say that it's not it's not cool. Well, I don't recommend for people to want to be popular. It's not fun being popular because at the end of the day, People are only your friends because they want something from you or because you're cool. So they want to be part of the cool club or you are just friends with them because they're cool 
or whatever you do stupid shit just to be part of the club or whatever. But then at the end of the day, like one person gets mad and everybody's mad and then ya valiste verga and you're, you don't got no friends. So that was what happened to me. I wanted to be part of the cool, not the cool kids, but like, I don't know how to explain it. Like I was kind of like a cholita wannabe, but then I wanted to be kind of cool. I don't want to be like part of the nerdy club or whatever. Like I really, I really, back then I really had, I thought it was important to be somebody, but that was my big mistake because after high school, I, I didn't, I don't talk to anybody from high school, which in a way I don't really care because again, I said they were kind of fake. They were just whatever not everybody but majority of the people that i hung out with oh shit i still need this just kidding just kidding um and so now as an adult uh it's kind of harder to make friends i feel like when you're an adult because it's the same thing wherever you go like and then as an adult you you don't have a lot of time as you used to as when you were kids you know people's mentalities change and so it's not that where the fuck are my lint wipes? Who stole my shit? So I do have, I guess, some friends, but I don't really have, like, friends' friends. I've never really had friends like that to say that they didn't support me. But my family, which was the closest to my friends, they always wanted free shit. They still do. Family is always going to think like that. That, oh, you have to give it to me for free because we're family. Like, no... As a family, somebody part of your family, they should be supporting your dream, your hustle. So if you guys ever have a family member, because I know we all think like this too. Um, if Let's just say your family sells tacos. You're not going to go to their shop and expect free tacos. No, you're not. You better not. And if you do, you better fucking slap yourself and stop doing that. Because you are pretty much taking their money um, that they're going to use to feed their family. Like you're taking their $1 taco, $2 taco or whatever. So the same goes to us, to everybody. Um, just don't stop doing that. So now I'm like, fuck now. Mm -mm. There is no family or friends in business. That's just something that I've learned over time. There's no such thing. As family or friends in business. If you want your business to be successful, you cannot um you cannot um com combine your your personal life with your business. You can't. You should always um separate that. And it's hard because my family, like um, I, I, I'm not really close with my family either, like my cousins and shit like that. Like my mom never really let us hang out like that. Um, so when they would like want nails, I'll be like, how do I tell them or whatever, you know, but you just got to tell them or if you don't want to talk to them, just ignore their asses. They'll get it. They'll get the fucking hint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A real friend would not expect nothing for free. Like, yeah, it's nice to give. There's nothing wrong with giving sometimes. And that's one thing that one of my teachers from college told us. How to call it? Don't be afraid to give something for free. Here and there, you know, like a little freebie, a little incentive, like a thank you or whatever. But how to call it? Don't don't do it too often where they're gonna expect it all the time, you know. All right, so I'm gonna make a lighter shade of orange. Okay, hold on. Where the fuck is my white? I just had you white gel polish. Okay, there you go. So just the, keep that in mind, guys. Just the way you want people to support you, you should support other people's businesses. So if you want, if you want your um your family and friends to support you to pay your it's like a little cycle. You also are responsible to paying the price. What people are asking you, like, if you go to a small business, then you are also going to pay what the price is. You're not going to be like, I'm not that my caro. 
Ay, no, está muy caro. Mejor me voy somewhere else. Like, okay, well, you get what you... Re you get... Wait. ¿Cómo se va? ¿Cómo va eso? You get what you... Not what you pay for, but like... Karma, bitch. Karma. Because there's always going to be some people who always want more and more, but they don't ever want to give. Oh, shit. You don't go to Walmart trying to haggle. Mm -mm. Actually, people fucking steal from fucking Walmart. They steal. Like, I used to have a client before who had a business, right? She, a lot of my clients have always been small business owners. Um, So this one, this bitch would always be complaining about her customers not tipping. And I don't know what. I know I mentioned her a few times already, but uh, I just can't get over her. She would always be talking shit that people were fucking stingy and I don't know what. But she would never tip, you know. And I was like, girl, you can't expect a tip. Especially if you don't even give tips yourself. Like, that's greedy as fuck. That is hella greedy. So don't be like that. You will, you will get what you put out. So... Let me get my dotting too. All right, honey. We're going to do painting. We're going to paint a flower. Or I'm going to get my... Okay, Zule, you got this, girl. You got this. That's so true. My husband is a taquero. My family always want him to work for free. Fuck no. No, ma'am. It's like if you were to go up to somebody and be like, Oh, me das dinero de tu cheque? Like, ni ma they're going to look at you like, Estás pendeja? Estás pendeja? be like exactly asking somebody to do the nails for free or whatever is the same shit like some people wouldn't even work for free at their job not that they have to or anything like that like a lot of people won't why would why should we work for free, you know? I mean, I like to work for free. Hey. <laughs> I've always been that dumbass that likes to work for free. All right, we're going to do a flower. Hi, Patri. I'm going to try to do a flower here. Dirty. So many people on live but have to join my favorite. Aww. Thank you, Mexican men nails. What happened, Patri? I didn't breathe. Alright, there's my pedal. I actually forgot. I love you so much. Aw, thank you. Thank you, my friend. I forgot to put a dot as the center, man. That's gonna be my center. Me personally, I couldn't charge my mom. I feel like I would go to really hot place <laughs> or to hell. Yeah, there are some people that you do not charge. Like it's just a thing. Like I would never charge my mom. I would never charge my mother-in-law. Or my sister. Anybody else from there, you're going to pay. Unless I want to do your nails for free. I hate when people ask me for shit. It's like, if I want to give it to you, then you'll get it. But if you're going to ask me, I, I, want, I do not want to give it to you for free. You make me not even want to do it. Huh, Patrick? Mm -hmm. Also, it depends on, on the tone of voice. I charge Or knowing that knowing that they're going to go somewhere else and pay full price. Mm -mm, nope, I don't want to do your nail no more. There's a difference between asking and giving. Yes. All right, so pray for me and these flowers. And the relationship. Oh, yes, of course. If you and your mother or whoever the hell don't get along. 
You paying. All right, guys, don't make me talk so much. I need to draw flowers. Will always make shit free for me, mama. She done and gone through enough for me to not pay her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrin, do you have something to say about your mom? Would you charge me for one of your art pieces? Yeah. Rude. Okay, well, don't worry. I would pay for it, too. Don't charge anyone. What about my Mother's Day gift? Did you get it already? Okay, you better. You better, honey. <laughs> or else I'm gonna throw you away. Hey. My bed. I'm gonna go look tomorrow. I'm gonna go look tomorrow. All right, guys, hold on. I'm gonna bend these nails. I'm gonna go look tomorrow. Look at it like this, Zule. Patrick is going to be a good businessman. Mm-hmm. He sure is. And guess where he learned it at? YouTube. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> what is the name of the hand? This one is Inessa. Just kidding. Not from YouTube, Patrick. Where'd you learn business? Patrick used to call me, um, uh, what is it? A, a what? No, a ripoff when he was younger. When he was little, he used to call me a ripoff. I was like, rude, sir. Patrick, are you nervous? Mm -hmm. When Patrick was little, you got my man laughing. Why? When Patrick was little, well, he was, oh man, this one. Grade. It was sixth grade? I specifically remember that this taking place while we were living in the apartment. Yeah, well, I took him to, we went to Best Buy. We went to Best Buy and he wanted a toy. And how to call it? Um. When you said he got it from YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, they, they, I don't think they know the story, so we're going to share it. Um, We went to Best Buy, and Patrick wanted a toy, some dinosaurs or something like that. Or I don't I don't know exactly what it was. What was it? It was indeed a dinosaur. Oh, yeah, it was a dinosaur. You know, dinosaurs are expensive. So Patrick didn't have no money, so he really wanted it. And I was really big on not spoiling this child. He had to earn it. So then I was like, okay, I'll buy it for you. But you're going to have to pay me back with 40 hours of work. You said 42 hours. I remember 40. I, I remember what dinosaur and how expensive it was. Okay, well, let's pretend it was 42 hours of work then. 42 hours of work or he paid me the dinosaur in cash whatever came first you got me, me traumatized yeah yeah and so every day he would work stapling some little um crystals or doing something easy right and then how to call it but here was the thing. Patrick would play with the salt shaker for like 40 minutes and then work for like 10 minutes and then take a break the other 10. So he was like, how many more hours do I have? Like I had, we had in a whiteboard and I was like, Patrick, you haven't even worked like one hour because you keep playing, you get distracted or whatever. So then he was like, you're a rip off. Like, that's not fair. I'm never going to pay for it. So pretty much my, we were teaching him that we were like the credit card, you know, like when you borrow money, you always have to pay way more than, than what you would have paid if you would have paid it with your own money. So then he got some, how'd you get money? Where'd you get it from? Your grandpa? I think so. Yeah. I think my dad gave him money cause my dad recycles. 
So my dad gave him money and Patrick was, he paid up his debt. But then he was sad because he had no more money. And that was one of his early lessons. About debt. Okay, Zule, that pedal didn't come out that cute. You were talking about how I learned business. Not yeah, that's not, business. Not how I learned about debt. Yeah, but that's part of business. You're learning a lot of different things. Why are you shaking your leg, Patrick? Mm. I'm like in mm, the All room right. temperature of emotions, you know? Like room you know, temperature? Mm. There isn't anything going on up here. Oh, okay, that's good. All right, all right. Zule, that is cute, cute. You going OCD on yourself. <laughs> Only with my pedals only zule i just love you i wanted to say i will always support you in your business oh thank you ariel we appreciate you do you guys want to ask patrick a question this businessman in the making My daughter is to still chips. Oh, she used to steal chips and gummy worms at school. She got caught. Oh, my God. Talking about stealing at school, you guys want to know what I used to steal at school? Th this is kind of funny. So when I was in sixth grade, our teacher, our teachers, <clears throat> they used to have, like, school money. So if you finish your work or whatever, they will give you a certain amount of, they were called Hollenbeck dollars because that's the school I went to. Well, I I never really got Hollenbeck dollars because I didn't really do my homework like that. And so one day I happened to go into the class and steal some. I stole like a good couple hundred. i just kidding. I don't remember how many I stole. But at the end of the week or the month, I can't remember, but we were able to spend them. And so I was like, I ain't about to get caught up that I stole all this money. So I'm going to share some with my friends and then I'm going to tell them, tell them to buy me certain things. And how to call it, I will get the snacks like that. But I didn't get caught. Thank the Lord. My mom would have beat my ass if she found out I did that. So don't tell her, Patrick. Don't tell grandma I did that. She doesn't know. Grandma doesn't know. I'm dead too late. Be rolling. Yeah, I was a little bad girl. Because we didn't have nothing. I needed to get some snacks one way. Or another. And then I hated that teacher so much. I got a Duvalin. If you guys don't know what a Duvalin is, it's just like a candy with like three colors of like chocolate. And I put it on her door handle so it could look like it was shit. <laughs> look at the inside. I forgot what she did to me, but she got me mad. And I was like, okay, you lady, I'm going to rub this on the door handle. So when you open it, it's going to look like shit. Now Zule only takes from her store on the daily. Yeah, I only steal from myself. Ah, no, muy, muy tiesa. It's fake. Yeah, it's a fake hand. Yeah, I, I was, I was a bored little child. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've laughed this much with any other live. Well, welcome to Zule Live. We share past stories here. I was a little bad girl when I was little. I was bored or some shit. Um, this hand is from Red Iguana. I used to steal chips at the store, too, when I was little. Mm 
That's why karma's a bitch. As much as we laugh, we need to tap and show love. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are enjoying this live, make sure to tappy, tappy, tappy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do more than one flower because this one is taking forever. Patrick. Oh, man. I just got a bunch of dust on my hand. Would you like to see my flower? Sure. It's looking pretty cute, huh? Are you trying to see me flower? No, I'm showing you my flower. Oh, yeah. My flower. Do you always wear long nails? Yes, I do. For the most part, I do. I don't like short nails. I feel like I cannot do anything. I cannot do anything. I'm going to do two more petals. This flower is going to be kind of huge. Patrick, you already finished with all the treasures mm -hmm. and the cardboard? Mm -hmm. Wow, battery on fire today. Yeah, we want to know if you are in PJs. Um, Technically, I'm not in PJs, but they look like PJs. Kind of. I'm in sweats. What you say, Patrick? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was reading a comment. Patrick, have you had your mom play with your card game? What card game? Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, yeah, like all the time. It's, I would hold my mother hostage. No, 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 they're asking recently. It's because I told them about your birthday thing that I made for you. Oh, yeah. No, he hasn't used it yet. When I used to, I was telling to see press ons and gum from the store, your kids are fried. <laughs> mm hmm I use the old ones. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't um used the the coupon yet. He don't want to hang out with his mother. Use it, use it. Yeah. Mayra, relax. And then when I use it, you don't seem happy, right? You don't seem like you're enjoying the time. Well, I don't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but you can force me. It's like if I were to force you to come do nails with me, you're not going to want to, but you, we got to do it sometimes. Because you beat me all the time, and you use cheater cards. You just don't want to read. You don't either. What do you, mean? you don't want to read in school. This is a small little square. That's an entire essay. No, no, no. Those cards are confusing. And then I have to read Patrick's cards too. Like, Lord. Lord. That's why I'm, I say that we got to use cards from back in the day. Because those, I know how they work. You saying that because I have a memory different than my parents. Mm-hmm. Not bringing school into it. <laughs> I always do. As soon as I get the chance, I will bring school into the conversation. Even when they don't make sense. Mm-hmm. Even at dinner. Even at dinner. Okay, my flower is looking okay. We can't complain. Your flower? Yeah, it has like, I'm going to say three, seven petals. It's more like a little daisy. Zule bringing out the vintage cards. Yeah, I told him I won. Um, was a little furball call? Karibo. Yeah, Karibo. Karibo little cards. They're so cute. Like basic cards, please. I love the nails that you did on Mimi. They look so fire. Thank you, honey. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. Let's do this other one. So, Patrick, are you ready to learn how to do nail? No. Why not? I thought you were ready. You said I wasn't. Me? You're ready to do some nail. I'm going to do some lighter petals. I'm loving the flower. Yeah. I think I'm just going to do one nail to make it more special. To make it look so easy. Girl, this is not easy at all. I wonder if I were to put Patrick to do one. If he would. 
Patrick, you think you you could challenge yourself? Mm, maybe. All right, hold on, guys. No, my phone was dying. All right, one of these days we're gonna make Patrick paint my nails at least. Yeah. Or you want to put the full acrylic? I think I would rather mix something that you won't take off after one day. So. The full acrylic? Like, okay, like one color and then like some glue and, and bling. bling. There we go. should test Patrick with his bling. Like, there we go. That's <laughs> what you do with some people. I won't be the name. But... We're going to see what how his bling creativity is like. He can place the bling. Mm -hmm. Dying so early. We've been here since like seven. I've been here for like two hours. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah, that's actually pretty fast compared to my normal speed. Patrick, how many enchiladas did you eat today? Six. God damn, honey, that is a lot. Okay, that little petal came out cute. My husband has to go my Frenchies on my right hand because I cannot. All he needs to do, I'm going to make Patrick do my opposite hand. So, Patrick, you think we're going to go to Universal's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to have the VIP experience. You heard? Yes, I heard your entire conversation over at Olive Garden. The whole thing. I want the full experience. Think that through, though, if you have to fix it. Hmm? Patri, 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 patri. Stupid little dot. Okay. This is definitely not my strength area. What should I try to draw next? Next thing. I would only give my husband my toes. Food. What should I give Patrick? We're going to trust him with the bling. But you have to do me like a design, not just like two little diamonds. Okay, Patri. Mm -hmm. for like, um, Patrick, do you still want to watch Harry Potter with me? I have no opinion on this. No comment. Why? No comment. Why no comment? Because I have no opinion on this. But, like, you don't care? You want to or you don't want to? I have no comment. No, guys, Patrick doesn't want to watch Harry Potter with me. It's not like I watched every movie like four times already. Why? With who? With you, with you, with Nina, and you. Wait. I've only watched it. Let Patrick do anything with the blink to see what he does. Sorry, I'm here. With me, Papa. With you, with Nina, then with you and me, Papa. I do not remember watching it that many times. You. I feel I, like I would have remember. I only mentioned you once. No, you mentioned me twice. I only said once. Me, Papa, Nina, me, Papa, and you, and me, Papa. Mm -hmm. I feel like I changed it up. <laughs> oh, okay. You're confusing me, Patri. You're confusing me a little bit. I left you confused. Hmm? I left you kind of Yes, you did. Ooh, I think I'm going to try this new little petal flower. Thank you, Dory, for the flower. 
Do you guys have any questions for us? Do you guys want to ask Patrick anything? So we could chat with y'all. Before I go shower. Yeah, before Patrick goes to shower. This flower is so cute. Bathroom. So how to call it? Um you still have the Lumi? Does anybody other people sweet on the flies? People have started being dirty again. What? Who's being dirty? Zuli. Ooh, thank you, Lori, for the llama. Pinche flor maldita. Those flowers are so hard for me, girl. Me too. That's why I'm practicing them because I know for a fact somebody's going to ask me for this shit. <laughs> One of my clients is going to ask me for flowers, so I need to be able to do them. Lord. This is not easy at all. Lord. The flies somebody else has used. Oh, the files. Why am I reading it as flies? What's wrong with me? Ay, ay, ay. Fail. Failed, Patrick. I failed. Mm -hmm. Just don't bend it too far. Oh, yeah. Man, I thought I was doing a good job. I guess not, not very good. Patrick, are you going to miss me tomorrow? I'm going to go to work. You're going to go to work? Mm-hmm. Oh. Porque estoy pobre. Look at where you're at right now. Tell me, when someone has poor beat in this in exact place and situation you are in right now? Yes. Yes. Esta pobre tiene que trabajar. Because you like to eat eight different enchiladas. Seven, eight. Zule, where'd you get the netting that you used to create the mermaid scales in the acrylic? Um, I actually sell them on my store. You can find them on my website. Those are giving 70s vibes. 70s? Ooh, I should make a, a rainbow effect flower situation like this, huh? Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of these flowers. Maybe I should start over. What do you use this for? Mm, I don't. They give it to me for free. Right. Why, you want it? No, because it's a tool used for making like clay things. What's a dotting tool? Like a tool to make dots with. Yeah, look at like this one. Wait, what? For real? What? ¿Qué pincel estás usando? Estoy usando este. Es de mi página. Patri, don't fall asleep, please. You know, yawns are contagious. You're going to make me sleepy. If you look at me. Oh, no, that's the way it works? Yeah, if, you, if you're actively watching someone young, then you're going to get the thing to yawn at all. No, oh. no, not just hearing it. Oh, okay. Zule, when you going to come out with your own drill? Um, I have been working on that. The one that I've been recently trying, I'm not very happy with it. So it takes some time some time to find something that actually is very good i don't just want to sell whatever because to me it's important that it it's a good item zule needs more coffee mm -hmm. zule finally actually that fucking flower right there not the business not the business i need to erase it 
Hmm? It's 906. How do you know? I have a watch. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. This isn't time to be consuming coffee or any other testing. Coffee. Yeah. Patrick's closed. Patrick Cafe Coffee Shop is closed. Patrick, if you were to name a coffee shop, what would it be? How did I get here, Cafe? Hmm? How did I get here, Cafe? How did I get here? Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't choose this, but here I am. <laughs> You're a natural barista, Patrick. You are natural. No lo borres. Las flores nunca son perfectas. Ay, amiga. Es que la quiero ser más flaquita, la güey. Ok, 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 ok. They don't want me to start over, Patrick. If you were to have a restaurant, how would you name your food? Mm, I would give it funny names. Oh, like, can I order the fruit pancake? I say its name. The fruity patootie pancake? Mm-hmm, something like that. That fat cake. <laughs> can I order an order of fat cakes? Or can I get an order of the mm -hmm. extra tuna? Mm hmm Something like that. Personally, I would have like an extra like me menu for when you're like asking someone, what do you want? I don't want anything. Pick for me. I don't care. I don't have food that are called that are named anything. I don't care. <laughs> whatever or oh, whatever you like, me do for you. Order for me. Yeah, that, those are the type of names I would want. Can I get a I don't care for you? Sure. Yeah, you want it on the rocks? Yeah, they're saying the Zeho menu. That's what it would be a Zeho menu. Patrick doesn't know what that is. Abushona. Abushona. All right, let me try to do more flowers here. I'm running out of jail. Would you like? Why you want to open a restaurant, Patrick? I just asked. I just asked a question. Okay. We can make it happen. We'll call it the Patrick Blapjack. Copyright be coming hard. <laughs> the um patchy pat patchy patchy and more. No, why not? Patchy pay patchy cakes. No, why not? We're just going like, how did I, how did I get here? The pat jack. <laughs> okay, so I just remembered one thing that me and Patrick were asking ourselves once upon a time. If if you mix ranch with buffalo, what would you call that? What would you call that? What did I say? Buffalo ranch? There's a ranch in the buffange. Ranch alone? A, a farm. What? Oh, because it's a ranch and a buffalo. <laughs> That is funny. Uh, Buffalo Ranch. Damn. Que usas para detener tu cel para que grabes. Uso un, un stand de Archon Mount Ranchalo. Yeah, I think that's what Patrick said. A Ranchalo, huh? Like, all right. So when you get a spoon and a fork and mix them together, what do you get? A spork. A what? A fapoon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a fapoon. Excuse me. Because it's a, a fork and a spoon, not mm. a spoon and a fork. Um, they're asking if that was funny. If we have tried a Tabasco and sriracha sauce. If anyone recommend me that, I would personally get angry. Ooh, why? 
I don't know. It's you just like straight sriracha. sriracha and mix with <gasps> oil. Oil. The vinegar in there. They said a sparky. <laughs> they call it a sparky. A fork and a, a spoon. Spoon. They actually sound funner than spork. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Stupid little dot. Get out of here. You don't belong here. Can't Cocoon. sit with us. Mm -hmm. I like Fapoon. Fapoon, like a panzanocha. Like, what is that? It sounds like someone. A buffoon? It sounds like something that someone would get mad at me for. And then, like, that's the point. Am I trying to get people mad, Patrick? It's fine. It's fun? Uh, uh, I don't like to get mad. I like to get glad. I like to get people mad for the dumbest reasons. Example, saying for poon over spork. You're gonna be like, what is that? No, they don't like... What did you call? Lori said Lori said I like Fapoon. She she likes the Fapoon. I'm a Fapoon kind. What about a knife and a spoon? A coon. A coon? A coon. A coon, I'm a ta da. Because I feel like the, the as a joke f for the coon, they would keep the, the K in the word knife, and that's it. And it's coon, you know, or spife. A spife? I'm a spife you. Ooh, you're sending threats on TikTok. Ooh. No, Ooh. they don't know what we're talking about. I think we're gonna have to make our own language. So we don't ever get reported ever uh, again. That's kind of sus. Sus. F. Sus. Yeah. Sus. F. No, it's not. Zule, you met your goal with what? What was my goal? Ooh, my cat is taking with you. He can't look away. What? Your cat? My cat is taking you. Your cat is possessed with Zule. Oh, subs. Oh, okay. Yay. Welcome, Zeho. It's 9.14. Maybe you should go shower. Time to shower, Patri. Oh my god, I just realized this is Patrick's hand. <laughs> it was not Patrick's hand. <laughs> they thought this was your hand, Patrick. <laughs> it's not Patrick. Patrick's just. <laughs> hey, don't ruin my, my. Hold on. Let me cure it. Right now, he'll show his real hand. <laughs> All right, Patrick, show your hands, but don't touch the flower, I please. Really show okay, this is not Patri's hands. Okay, say goodbye, Patri. You're going to take a shower. Adios. I'm gonna do what forty percent of Americans don't do. Shower. Ta ta. Ta ta, Patri. Ah. Have fun in the shower. Just don't shower too long. Oh, this I'm in the shower. Playing with the water and tapping your stomach. I don't have a... <laughs> you know when you were little, you used to tap, 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 tap. Bye, Patri. Que vergüenza. <laughs> it's okay, girl. He gonna find SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. Coffee is the curd, but now I'm hungry. Bye, Patrick. Everybody's saying bad. I mean, bye. I'm back. He's done showering. For my water. 
Yes, yeah, it's from the morning. I went this morning after I dropped you off. Oh my god, teenagers and the shower. My kid takes forever. Mine too. Mine too. You know what else takes forever? This fucking flower that I'm trying to make. <laughs> they take forever, but don't wash nothing. <laughs> That's no Patrick does wash his head. I don't know about the rest. I haven't checked that. Woo! Thank you for my gift, Maricela. Are you putting bling on the nails? Um, I don't know yet. I haven't thought that far. That is so funny. And they don't shower. Don't smell the pits late. I did last time. They were safe. They were safe and it's safe and it's safe. I don't know who made me do this tiny little flower. What tips did you use for the hand? I used the three XL square tips. I'm trying to do a flower. Pero no me sale bien. Um, I'm gonna have to try something else on the other finger because, girl, watch it smell and get stuck on your nose. Fucking she. Hi, Sylvia. How are you? Ooh, thank you, Lori. Thank you very much. I'm trying to do some flowerations. <sighs> Radiant Beauty. <laughs> she didn't get a rotting one yet. A rotting one. It hey, cue me. It hey, cue me. A rotting who? I should probably put little dots. Today at work, these two surgeons were talking about why teenage boys take forever in the shower and what they say. Oh, a rotten pit. <laughs> and what they say. All right, I'm going to do... Oh, shit. My boys are in their 20s and take forever in the shower. Girl, I guess it's a thing. It's a thing. I'm gonna do like a little vine. They were getting rid of excess weight. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Taking care of business. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Se la andan jalando los cabrones. Pues que la, se la han, que se la jalen, que se la jalen antes de que se bañen. Así pa que, pa que cuando salgan, estén limpios. You know? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Oh, this Plico, Federico. So I'm just going to make some random ass little. Some random ass little fucking swirls and shit. Just to fill up the fucking nail. I cannot. They net, tell me, they net. I'm going to do a little bit at the top. Mm -hmm. All right, here, little swirl, a little swirly, whirly. Zuley, ¿qué tipo de manos estás usando? 
I'm using my red iguana hen. Mi mano de la red iguana. Something like that. Mm. Is it la red iguana, amiga? I feel like I want to add a little gold to it, but I don't know. Maybe some dots? Kind of like if they were... um. Back in the day. Oh, damn, that's too much. Ni, 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 ni. Hi, Tokaya. Hi. ¿Cómo estás? A ver, ¿dónde más le puedo poner puntitos? Le vamos a poner puntitos a la uña. Así bien, chmo. Because back in the day, we used to do a lot of little dots. You know? Picasso. Picasso. They were making it a little too busy. You know what? Maybe I'm going to erase this part right here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Zuley, can you please do a live teaching us about the use of different bits? Um, yeah, we could definitely talk about that in another live. Like the cuticle bits and all that good stuff. We can. Just remind me because I'll forget. I will forget. Oh my God, can we bring back in the daily designs? Ooh, what if I... Make one here. I don't want to do flowers no more. Like the little chinito vibes nails. With different orange. That would be kind of cool. You guys want me to do fucking flowers right there? Lord. Right, let me cure that nail. Or should I just do bling? Do you guys want to, should we try that? Incorporate the OG with the no smaller dots. Bling. 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 Okay, bitches. I don't want the bling. They're like, fuck the nail art. This is taking too long, Zule. Bling. All right, I guess bling. Bling is life. Bling ish life. Oh, yeah, I need to kind of peer it in the OG with the new G. Bling. One another day we'll do nail art again. Bling here, but OG nails on another life. Okay, more flowers. Bling all the way. See what the Z holds on. Bling. Always bling. Excuse me, Zule. Have you tried the extra long bit yet? No, I have. All right, wait. Oh, oh. <gasps> Did I touch something? No, I have not. All right. This nail is looking pretty cute. I feel like there's way too much orange going on. We need to break this up with a little gold, I think. All right. Well, before we're done, I'm going to add a little bit of gold because I want to add a gold, golden shadow bling. So I think I'm going to incorporate my light gold painting gel. I'm going to use a light gold painting gel to incorporate a little gold in the design because, like I said, there's a lot of orange going on. There's nothing wrong with orange, but I don't have orange bling like that. So I want to um put potentially gold. I like gold and orange. All right, so I'm going to be using light gold painting gel from my website. Hi, Dalia. ¿Cómo estás, amiga? Bienvenida. Gold will make it stand out more. Yes. So hopefully that works. I... <sighs> Hold on. Let me clean the nail. Okay. 
let's pray that it's fully dry. Alrighty, alrighty. I think I'm gonna, should I outline one of the flowers? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna outline one of the flowers. Maybe, maybe I'll do the light ones because, girl. All right, let's try to outline them. I like to use, um, hold on, let me do this first. My, my pinky as, 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 um, support. Shit, my fucking iPad's gonna die. Stupid iPad. Why are you dying? I did this on one of my clients the other day. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. But for her, I did her some other style of flower. Charger, please. Charger. I'm using the charger for my phone. So I'm going to have to use my uh, other phone. All right. Plug it in. Plug it in. I didn't see the design coming out of one orange flowers. You the best. Did you make a plan first? Um, I actually... um. I'm recreating a set I did. I'm attempting to see if I could do better. So how does that look? Yay or nay? I kind of like, I like. Yay. All right. I'm only going to do the light colors. Yay, okay. Don't ever be afraid to tell me the truth. If you guys don't like it, tell me the truth. All right, hold on. Let me kind of cure that one. Flash cure. All right, is the truth. Hey, Zune, I was watching you last Thursday, and my neighbor's house caught on fire. <gasps> oh, my God, are they okay? I hope everybody is okay. Oh my God, that's terrible news. Most, what, what, what won't happen? How did their house catch on fire? Just don't use gold crystals or it will wash them out. Hmm? When you flesh cure it is less time than putting it in your hand. Yes, I've been listening because I've been busy, but these are so cute. Thank you, honey. Um, yeah, so when you flesh cure, pretty much what you're doing is you're just kind of like half as curing in a way. Well, not half as, but you just want to cure the gel enough that if I were to if I were to touch it, I won't fuck it up. What gold glitter are you using? I'm using my um light gold painting gel. This one. Do you carry white crystals? Um, white opal. I believe we have white opal, but only like in a whole 1,000 piece pack. The reason why I wanted to use the gold was because I didn't do a very good job with the petals. 
Thank God my husband got the lady out of her hot. That also caught fire. Oh my God, honey. Aww. Was it like nighttime? Sorry, I think I missed what caught white, how to catch on fire. That is so scary. I remember you had white chatons. Ooh, long, long time ago. Long, long time ago, we had white chatons. Looks amazing. Thank you, amiga. Thank you very much. I wish these were my nails. Stupid hand. Why you gotta get all the good shit? Why you gotta get all the good shit? Stupid hand. The glow and the darks are pigmented, so yeah, for clear first. Hmm? Um, I mean, I mean, I mean. All right. <laughs> All right, Zilli. Ooh, that does look so much cuter. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this gold to make little lines on the other color just to kind of make it pop a little. You know, because you can never go enough with a little flitter. A little flitter. Like, kind of like wherever I put the light color, I'm going to put the gold. Okay, thank you guys for answering. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of gold, like a little dot here. Somewhere here. A little bit of Monica. Hmm. There. That's enough fucking dots. Okay. Time for the bling. That looks pretty cute. Actually, I feel like something's missing right here. But what could it be? I'm just going to do... Like a little dot. These colors are beautiful. Can never have enough glitter. Mm hmm. There's no such thing as en mm, enough glitter. I'm gonna put a little bit of a little bit of gold there. Just like two dots make the fucking whole thing. My hands are not as still as yours. It'd be zigzagged. <laughs> Girl, my hand, my hands are not that great either. But excuse me, like I was saying, I use my pinky as um as a what do you call? As kind of like a to stabilize a little bit. All right, so the ring finger, we're gonna put some bling. Alrighty, we're gonna do um golden shadow because I don't have this kind of orange. Something kind of simple, cute vibes. All right. So let me show you guys the nails I did last year. So we could compare. I did them on my client. All right, let me throw this away. Let me show you guys real quick. I have a nice and mi which mix. So check it out. Oh shit. Oh, my lighting is not that good. So these are the nails I did last year. They were a total different shade of orange. The French was all the way up there. The flowers came out okay. Hold on right there. But I like these better. They're more like Mexican. 
They're a little Mexican. Make stickers or foils like this, please. Ooh, that would be so cute, huh? Okay, let me put this in the lamp before I fuck them up. Um, the gold painting gel is from, it's called Golden Hour Gel Painting Gel or something like that. It's under that. What about the Cinco de Mayo set? Eee, girl, what? I should have not said nothing, huh? I forgot. We need an emote that says, wow. <laughs> Hold on, Lori. What did you say? The laser Koopa lamp rechargeable. No, it needs to be charged the whole time. That's why this is the only lamp that has actually survived. Because it needs to be charged. All right, let's do the bling. I normally charge, overcharge my lamps. And I fuck up the batteries. So this one has survived. You have an orange in your Zule crystals. I, oh, I do. Hmm. Let me check. Let me check. I have... Oh, shit. Oh, you... Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Ooh. Is it the Hyansen? Hmm. Am I gonna have to go steal? Let me check in my bling, my little bling mix box. Let me go see if I could steal a pack. Give me one second. Give me one second so I can compare. All right, guys. I went to go steal. Let me let me compare this orange. I'm not sure if it's too dark, but let me take them out. Go steal pack, and no one will know. Only the person who orders it, and I have to refund later. If that's ever happened to you guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, hold on. Let me log in through my TikTok on my phone because my fucking iPad just died. All right, hold on, guys. Let me hold on. Now that the house has been built, it's time. Oh my God. Oh, I thought I fucked it up. All right, hold on. I think this color passes, huh? It's kind of bright. All right, hold on. Let me log back in. Who's so pretty? All right, let me get my golden shadow. I already know for sure which color I'm gonna, which shape I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a pear and a potential 
fire. Fireball. Zule, I want these. Not yet, but what? Stupid thing. Get out the way. Cannot see. But I want flowers and it's orange. Ooh, yes. You if you're gonna redo these, Lori, you better do them orange. We need to get you into the orange, orange gang gang. Okay, la verga. All right, guys. Let's do some zoo labeling adhesive. So I'm gonna try to do this one a little bit more towards the center. You guys already know I like it towards the center. Shove that bitch in. I'm gonna scratch the nail. Um, it has a, a base coat, it doesn't have a top coat yet. So, but I'm gonna scratch it so that the bling sticks faster because uh it fucking irritates me when it does not stick. Zuleida so reminds me I tagged in a video I blinked out a hat inspired by you. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna do this one first and then this one. You don't like burnt orange, Lori? Don't worry. Whatever color you guys do not like, I will do for you and you will like. What color would you guys like me to try in the future? Like, I think somebody told me to try 124. That's a pink one. But like a color you don't find yourself seeing, but you want me to change your mind. We will do a set. Because I know a lot of people are afraid of color. Lime green? Ooh. I love some green green. And olive green set. A chorro green. Gray. Ooh. I did gray. Well, I included pink. Huh? Neon nails. You guys are afraid of green? Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to whip out that nieve de limon. Okay. The nieve de limon. All right. So I'm going to add those two shapes first. And then I'm going to add a little bit of orange. I guess I'm going to need two sizes of this orange mob fusion. Okay, guys. Not that many colors, please. I look anemic in green. <laughs> Nano no, limon green, neon green. Okay, 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 okay. I will try neon green. I'm not afraid of it. I just don't care for it, really. Okay, we're gonna have to change you guys' mind about this green. Green color. A lot of my clients are low key afraid of color. Like they will not wear it, like, uh, no. And I'm like, ma'am, you need to. You need it in your life. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of orange, just a little pop of color. You can use that on your OG set. Ooh, yeah. A green, 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 green. Green, green, pink up the phone and say yellow. You guys are going to be like, damn, delay. you do the same designs all the time. But it's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. This is your average nail design, okay? Put shapes in the middle and then do your thing with the bling. So these orange crystals are the hyacinth, something like that, AB. They are Zule crystals. The, the pair, the, ¿cómo se llama? The or oh, no, wait, the golden shadow pair is also a Zule crystal. It is not a Charoski. Hmm, maybe I should put a bigger one. Fuck it, thug life. Go big or home, bitch. These are, I believe, size 5 mm, the big ones, and then the other ones are 4 mm. So, 4 mm, I want to compare it to like a size 12. This set, this bling reminds me of, of, um, ¿cómo se llama? Of Sylvia's nails. 
like her her bling bling hold on guys i'm gonna add i'm gonna add a little bit of diamond here and a little bit of diamond here I love these so much. Yes, guys, we can be orange queens. Come on. Be like the ring finger is gonna be called Sylvia because it reminds me of you. Do you ever use chains? Uh occasionally, yes. I don't I don't do them that often. The last time I did chains, it was in my Hello Kitty set, which has been a few months. Would you French the thumb? Uh, yes, I would. If I were to do a thumb, I would do the French on the thumb. Or I would do another ring finger, like bling. But like on a client or something, they'd probably want French. Like I'd probably do them a fringe. All right, I'm add a little bit more bling here. Oh, that's this is what I hate about myself. Is like I cannot just leave it just like that. Like, like bitch, I need to add more. Oh, that one is broken. There always has to be a little bit more. We cannot just be one diamond and get it over with. Delay. Oh, yeah, the thumb would have to look bling bling too, huh? Are these from your site or Swarovski? They're both. So all of them. Okay, okay. Let me start over. The only ones that are Swarovski are this shape right here and the little brown one, small ones. The rest are Zule crystals. So the orange ones and the big pair are Zule crystals. Um, right now I'm going to clean it and just have a little bit of the wax stick. So these little spots are wax. Hmm, I think I'm gonna just leave it like that. Yeah. And then I think I'll put like a little diamond or two on the, these because we're simple, but not that simple. We'll put like a little two diamonds. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right, that one. Oh, did you guys see my new emotes? They're funny, honey, huh? They're funny, honey. Just like that. Just like that. Poor thumbs. They never get no love, huh? The poor little thumbs never get no live. Alrighty. It. That's what she said. E what? What else did I say? Fuck it, thug life. Fuck it, thug life. Did that one get approved? The fuck it, thug life. Fuck it, thug life. Alrighty, that is fuck it, thug life. Yeah. I was, um, I put them up during your live, Julia. So I wouldn't forget. I was like, you know what, Zelaine? Do it now or you will forget. Alright, let me put these back in the little bag. And put them in the bag. I'm gonna do these shiny for sure. Spray it and forget it. Spray it and forget it. What nail glue is the best from your brand? I see a few. So nail glue, like to stick nails on. Are are tube glues for bling 
for bling, this one. This one is my preference. This one and the squeezy, these two are the same thing. It's the same thing. Just one has brush, which is this one, the brush one. And this one has a nozzle. I'm more of a brush on person. Like I need to be able to control how much I squeeze out or whatever. The middle one will look so pretty matte. It brings out the colors. <laughs> I don't know. Should we listen to Sylvia or should we do a shiny? Should we do a poll? I I would have made it matte like 100% without thinking and then putting the little outline would look fucking nice, huh? Why are you not saying nothing sooner? Sylvia, why are you not saying nothing? Where were you? <laughs> Where were you? When I was outlining the stupid nail. Pull time. Pull time. All right, let me clean. Let me clean. I think the flower finger would look great, Matt. Shiny. Shiny. All right. Well, let's see. New Thanksgiving set. The fuck? This ain't no Thanksgiving nails, bitch. Hey, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know I meant it in a good way, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Let me just file this right here. The little. All right, I'm gonna see what it looks like matte. Matte, so you can see the design. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Sylvia normally does not request, so we're gonna listen. All right, we're gonna do a super matte no wipe on the middle finger. We don't get Sylvia to request um, matte, shiny, or anything. So we're going to listen so she could request more often, huh? All right, all right, let's see. So I'm going to do the shiny first. Okay, we're going to use the light that good. Wow. So if you guys ever feel like your gel application is kind of like streaky vibes after like a few coats or whatever, um, just put top coat and it kind of like evens it out. Yes, thank you, Sylvia. Does anyone else get a burning sensation when they cure matte on their nails? Like on your natural nails? I haven't done that on my natural nails, so I don't know. But matte top coats do kind of blur my shit. Like, if I do it directly on, on like, gel sometimes, it'll fucking smudge. All right, kind of go slow. Go, go slow. Wow. All right, matte top coat on the middle. Not even when I put it on acrylic. What? For real? What the hell? All right, Matt, you are. It may be if you get on the skin, it'll get hot, but I've never heard of it on, on like acrylic. Ooh, look so pretty. I'm not a matte fan, but on other people, you like? Me too. I like to see it on other people. I'm not really like a matte person. But here and there, I do like a nail or two matte. Just to remind me that I like shiny. All right. Matte makes the design stand out. Yeah, I like to put matte with bling sometimes because I feel like the bling sparkles more. It sparkles a little bit more. All right, let me just go around that bling a ling a ling. Why does gel polish burn when curing on the natural nail? Um, because when an enhancement is drying, it causes, um, it gets warm. So if your nail is really, um, thin or whatever or it's a thicker application, you will always feel the heat. <laughs> I 
Ooh, that reminds me. I've been wanting to do a bling French. A bling Frenchy. I always forget about those. The bling. Bling, 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 bling. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, I think I got the whole nail. Sometimes I be missing fucking spots. Like, bitch, you just went that slow to miss a spot, girl. I just placed my order. Can't wait to get my glue and my blings. Yes, honey. Yes, get it, girl, brain. Raise your hand if you like this design. You lie, you lie. So the the credit goes to what the fuck was her name again? I forgot her name. I'll check the picture. That's who we originally got inspo from last year. Well, my client did. She was the one who sent me the picture. But this set was going hella viral. Similar, not exactly the same because we tweaked it a little bit. Um last year. And my claim brought it to me. Okay, hold on. I'll tell you guys the name of the girl again. And then, well, we don't know if she got it from someone else or she originally um, came up with it, you know, because things get repeated over and over again. All right, hold on. Her name was Neltique. Neltique. No me hables, pobre. <laughs> no me hables, pobre. Están super hermosas. Gracias, amiga. Dude, I was going so fast when I did the acrylic Lego. Me slowed the fuck down. I was not supposed to be live this long. I was supposed to catch a movie still. Oh, wait. We could still catch a movie. It's Patrick goes in late tomorrow. Taps, 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 taps. Tapi, 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 tapi. Oh, <laughs> the button. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. Seashell, seashells down by the seashore. <sighs> Can you make a zodiac acrylic line? Mm. How many zodiacs are there again? How many, how many in total zodiacs are there? Ooh. There's 12? Are you sure there's 12 months? There's 12 for zodiacs too? The hell? All right, guys. Here are the finished nails. Let me show them to you guys. Up close and personal. Oh, shit. Okay, Matt Nail coming through. All right, let's close you up, ma'am. Like, can you tell that pear is not Charoski? Look it. Slam, honey. All right, let's turn her around. All right, ma'am, turn your hand, please. We're going to take you a picture. Wait, hold on. We don't want to bend her in no unnatural positions. Hold on. Too much light going on. Gotta turn her like this. Ooh, cause. Let's shove them in. Shove it in. Okay, honey. Uh, uh honey. Woo. Shoo, shoo. Cute. Wow. You guys. Oh, shit. That's too bright. There you go. That came out pretty damn cute, Zule. Okay, girl. You did that. You did that. 
the light be looking a little bright, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that wraps up our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed the live. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let me zoom into my nail. Look at, oh my God, look at my flower, girl. It looks like I actually did a real good job. But look at that, look at that one, look at that one, look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> you should make a bling line for practicing and then the expensive ones are for your clients well we have a variety of the better quality and the cheaper ones already oh, i need to file the sides a little bit all right guys we'll have a beautiful night i'll see you guys next time good night everyone sweet dreams bye thank you guys for all the likes and the comments and everything buenas noches bye una noche más y copas de más tú no me dejas en paz de mi mente no te vas